The following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. We have Mike from Chicago on the line, and he has a question about digestion. Hi, Mike. Hey, guys. Happy Friday. Happy, Happy Friday. Friday. First of all, I just wanted to say that I love the show. I think it's uh, it's great programming, and I'm very much of a like mind when it comes to you know taking control of your own health and certainly doing your own research. Oh, that's so great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now your hosts, Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark. Welcome to the show, folks. It's Happy Friday here on Living a Primal Lifestyle. I'm Nico DeHaan. This Hello, is Paige everybody. Clark. How's everybody doing out there? Uh, you know, it's a beautiful day here in downtown Clearwater. It's 75 degrees. The sun is shining. A uh, typical Florida day. Beautiful. We're lucky. You know, I got a lot of emails because of this report. Uh, out it's of resurfaced you. its ugly head. Yeah, it's resurfaced. And, um, you know, I think we, we should go over it. It really talks about uh, 25 diets, and they list the paleo diet or the primal type diet last in this whole thing. And we've got some, you know, some, we're going to go point by point. Uh, Nico spent some time getting the information so we can address this because we've gotten some email questions from you all. And I want us to always follow the money. You know, start this with follow the money. That's true. You know, you can look at the authors of this. But I, I really want to take the point by point approach to this whole thing. And, uh, you know, really ask some uh, questions that I don't think were answered correctly. First of all, will you lose weight? And on here it says there's no way to tell. Paleo diets haven't drawn the attention of many researchers. And uh, it's uh, obvious that the, uh, the authors of this article didn't uh, read any, any of the studies. There's a study by O'Day that uh, uh, they've done. There's a study that uh, in 2010, that was a randomized study involving 773 subjects and published in the New England Journal of Medicine, confirming that high-protein, low-glycemic index diets were more effective strategy for keeping weight off. So, I mean, the, the proof is in the pudding. There's been quite a few studies, and more studies are coming out all the time on losing weight. And what really the claim is on the paleo or primal diet is that uh, you're going to actually uh, normalize your weight. Mm -hmm. So, I, yeah, I actually think that uh, you know what we're seeing is an organization. A lot of the research that we get done is you know, always funded by some group. Yeah. And so any research that includes foodstuffs that are, are part of the you know mainstream food yeah. sources, we're going to see we're going to see good results. Yeah. Okay, the second question on here was, can it prevent or control diabetes? It says unknown. And, uh, you know, when you're reducing sugar, right away you're, you're uh, reducing the possibility that you can have diabetes because well, there is no sugar, a uh, very well, low carbohydrates. the insulin levels normalize and yeah. they're not staying higher. Right. So when insulin is, um, you know, a, a big indicator of metabolic syndrome of which diabetes is a part. Right. So got you there. Yeah. Uh, are there other health risks? Uh, I mean, well, here's a couple of questions. Does it have cardiovascular benefits? It says unknown. Uh, the uh, comments... The article uh, said unknown. Yeah, and it's really, mm -hmm. I mean, there's lots of uh, therapeutic effects of uh, the paleo diet on cardiovascular. We know that. Yeah, there's six or so papers that show, you know, convincingly that the therapeutic effects of paleo diets... Um, you know, really improve cardiovascular risk factors. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, all that fat, people worry about consuming fat. Of course, when we're talking about a primal or paleo type of diet, we're talking about very healthy fats, and very healthy fats not only help you lose weight because they put you in the fat-burning zone, mm -hmm. but uh, they're good for your health because they're good for your brain, they're good for all the cell membranes. We've talked about this endlessly on the show. And there's been many, many different examples of that your omega-3 fatty acids are, are going to help uh, reduce inflammation. Same with your saturated fats. Your satur with your rather, saturated fats are what are going to keep the arteries clear. I mean, I believe that butter, yeah. the vitamin A and D in butter actually keeps, you know, the blood slick and, and, and yeah. everything. You yeah. know, so... I think that we've got to really, again, look at what the fats are that we're eating. And we've been educating you all on the benefit of eating healthy fats. Yeah. And, you know, one of the diets that does fare well in all of this is the Mediterranean diet. And as we know, the Mediterranean diet typically has um, 
omegas from fish oils, but yeah. it also includes olive oil. And these are fats that we yeah. like. We like but, olive oil properly fact, used. You know, all, they, they do list like 25 different diets, and all the diets are rather healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some foods that I wouldn't eat in those diets, but if you go on any of these diets uh, and you've been eating the, the typical American diet, you're going to improve your health. I, I totally agree with that. I mean, once we get the processed foods, which is really my mantra, yeah. is that, uh, and what I love about the paleo diet or primal diet, mm. and I kind of adapted my own little version or my right. paleo template, which is, is, is primal, getting back to the prime things that we need. And when I really analyze that, processed foods doesn't rank on the list at all. Yeah. Uh, one of the things, are there health risks and possibly by shunning uh, dairy and grains, you're really missing out on uh, a lot of uh, calories or a lot of nutrition, they say. And we're, uh, you know, I think that's completely false. I'll tell you why I really disagree with that. Mm -hmm. Because these foods, the, the dairy, the yeah. processed dairy and the processed grains include, um, they include fortification and they're usually right. synthetic vitamins A and D right. and near, or calcium or right. the rock calcium, yeah. correct? Forms that we don't readily absorb. So right. I don't, but who had them put that in there? The processed food industry. Oh, you're going to miss fortified foods. Who fortifies foods? The processing foods. Yeah, and you know? remember when we're talking about uh, diets that, and we're eliminating processed foods, grains are one of the most highly processed foods there is. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have to go lots of different steps to get the grain to be edible, and then you can take other steps like our ancestors used to do, which we used to ferment and we used to do uh, properly prepared. You yeah, know, and exactly. and any of you that have been listening to me. Uh, you know, I diverge from the strict paleo diet. I am, I like dairy if it's raw dairy, mm -hmm. if it's fermented, cultured, um, you know, from cows that are eating what they're supposed to eat, gr yep. grasses and so forth. Yep. So, um, yeah, I, I, I find that this is, this is uh, very discouraging, I'm sure, for a lot of people, mm -hmm. but... Again, this is an article that's going out there, and if you actually really check the research, and there's more and more resources for checking research on things that aren't always popularized in the press. Yeah. One of my favorite is greenmedinfo.com. Yeah, that's a great site. I have to go and really see there. if uh, Sayer G has actually done a lot of work on the paleo diet. I wouldn't say that any of his work shows that it's really favoring one diet. Well, he favors he really, live foods. Yeah, he really uh, has, has taken uh, the stand that you're going to not eat processed foods. You're going to uh, eat animals that are uh, healthy right. and that they eat their own natural food. So maybe he doesn't call it paleo or primal. Right. And many people don't. But this that's the diet that, that, that he's on. There's but no the, doubt about but it. the research there, what I love about that mm -hmm. research is it's all research from PubMed and all the medical yep. journals. It's the same research that all of us have an ability to look at, but most of us just don't spend our time right. at PubMed. So let's see, how well does it conform to accepted dietary guidelines? Well, what are accepted dietary guidelines? Exactly. Do we agree with accepted dietary right. guidelines? That's the whole point. Fat at about 39% calories from fat, a sample of the paleo menu exceeds the 35% cap. But, but the government bit. says. Well, I, I have an argument with that because I think it's more of a percentage than that. I think it's probably 60%, maybe even higher for some people. Mm -hmm. For me, I think it's 60 or 70% fat well, if as we, energy, not yeah, as volume. Yeah, we've talked about that. Yeah. At, at 30 40%, if you triple it because of the higher number of calories, or double it, yeah. then you really are at 60 70% of the whole food yeah, so calorie they're looking type. at it, right. Yeah. Protein, the, the government recommends 30, uh, or t 10 to 35% of your daily calories come from that uh, and the paleo clocks in at around 38 that's not true it really clocks in about 20 or 25 right so they've got a lot, a lot of statistics wrong yeah. but I the, the bigger thing instead of just reading this let's just go at what, what's going on here it's based on the accepted dietary guidelines and that's our whole premise yeah we're the gui questioning the, guidelines are the validity yeah. of accepted dietary yeah. guidelines that's yeah. the whole point yeah. I want to see what I see in this and when they say carbohydrates at 23 percent of daily calories from carbs is far below the government's recommended 45 to 65 percent yeah the government recommends 45 to 65 percent from processed foods not only that but carbohydrates remember are non-essential nutrients yes you know, that you got true. fat, we that is essential, those. and 
the protein is essential, but you can live without carbs. Mm -hmm. And here we're, the government is telling people, no, you've got to eat more carbs than anything else. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense. It and I even like this, this one point where they're talking about salt. Yes. It says the majority of Americans eat too much salt. Well, that's true. Well, the majority the of Americans kind of eat too much table processed, exactly. heated to 1500 degree yep. chemicalized salt. In fact, the majority of Americans do not get enough of natural salts and okay. the trace minerals that accompany them. Okay. So again, it's all all in the mix. It's all the sort of the sly of hand, you know, wh what they're getting across here. Um, but the point is, a true paleo or primal diet uh, is naturally low in table salt, and that's what we want. But we actually advocate looking for healthy sources of salt. Yes. So the, you know, all the meat that I cook uh, all has uh, salt on it. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's but the first, the first place. The healthy salt. I, mm -hmm. I spread it on there, then I spread it on there thick. Because and it makes I the food it, delicious. Not only that, it tenderizes it. It mm -hmm. helps in digestion, so there's many, many good things. Other key nutrients they talk about, uh, basically fiber, uh, they recommend 22 to 34 grams of uh, and fiber. And it says that the paleo diet's going to get good fiber because we do. Yeah, mm -hmm. and fiber, I don't know really if it's that necessary, myself. Mm -hmm. so. Well, there's a lot of fiber that we're eating that's not digestible. We know that. Yes. And a lot of the fiber that's being pushed by uh, standard dietary guidelines and mainstream medicine, you need Cheerios, to get more fiber, right? is, is a dangerous form of fiber. So yeah. again, look at where you're getting your fiber. In our diet, when we're recommending fruits and veggies, we're talking about straight from nature, yeah. and they're going to have their natural fiber. Yeah. I like the point about potassium, because I do believe potassium is tough to get, mm -hmm. and that is one area that the paleoprimal diet, we talked about this at my my talk when we did yes. with Nature's Food Patch, yes. that the healthy, our healthy ancestors actually had a diet high in potassium. And I like that because it kind of goes in the yeah. face of people who picture a paleo or primal diet as being um, something that, that is just meat heavy, flesh meat. No, it's, it's not. not. No. It's a lot of beautiful. And you don't eat a lot because I have breakfast, I have dinner, and I might have a snack or a protein shake, and that's about it for the day. Mm -hmm. And my uh, breakfast is basically a couple of eggs and some bacon or some uh, a l some kind of meat. Uh, might be a little ham. It might be I a little think sausage. the paleo diet actually really registers well as a calorie. We know the benefits, the health benefits of a calorie restricted diet. You know, mm -hmm. longevity yeah. from a longevity standpoint. And that standpoint. paleo fits right in there. And paleo sure. really does. Because There's a question in the chat room about good, what is good salt. And uh, okay, all right. What what is good salt? Is salt that is air dried, sea salt preferably. And really, from ancient seabeds is the best. From ancient seabeds, combined with maybe um, some volcanic. I personally love the one that I use in my practice, and at some point it's going to be available to you all <laughs> online, uh, is uh, Premier Research's Pink Salt. Um, that's my favorite. Uh, but, you know, even there's a salt that you can buy, many of you around the country, Alessi's salt tests energetically test very, well. Very nice. Alessi's salt. salt is a white salt. It is a truly air-dried uh, in the open air sea salt that contains all of the natural minerals that we need that we're low in. Uh, you know, and why are we low in these trace minerals? Because the food and the animals that we eat are no longer grazing or eating foods uh, that are growing a well tragedy. mineralized yeah, soil. That's the real tragedy. Both so, uh, many of you know that we, I believe, sometimes add a little bit of pink salt to your water. You can hardly taste it, but just to add a form of healthy minerals. Yeah, and I had a, uh, one of the guys that uh, Jiu-Jitsu the other day says, hey, I put a little pinch of my salt. You and, feel better. Yeah, and he, he says, electric. I'm really getting used to it, and uh, it's it's working for him. So yeah, you're, We're electric cool. beings, and sodium chloride helps us to be the electric beings we you are. You got it. Okay, it's speaking right of electric, though. we're going to go on an electric break here. <laughs> uh, we'll be right back uh, after this uh, short break. You've heard Nico DeHaan as co-host of Living a Primal Lifestyle, which airs every Friday at noon Eastern Time on TFNN, and would like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727 418 
8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done, and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Nico and Paige take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Hi, folks. So, uh, we're back. The number here is 877-927-6648. Uh, you can reach uh, Paige or Nico at TFNN.com also. And uh, please subscribe to our Health Signals newsletter, and uh, you'll get lots of information that we talk about on the show and stuff that we don't even get to sometimes. That's right. And, you know, that's the way we like our show, and we want your feedback. Uh, we're here to talk about your health, whether it be fitness, diet, primal living, how you breathe, how you sleep. Environment, environmental, uh, everything. And, you know, we feel like we have some answers, but when we don't have the answers, we're going to go find them. And yeah. then we're going to talk about it, and we're going to bat it back and forth, and, and sometimes new information comes up, and we want to share that with you. Yeah. So Now, you had a question from one of your... Uh, uh, from a, one of our listeners, too, didn't you, uh, on Facebook or something? Oh, yeah, I want to get to that on the next break. Okay. Yeah, but I want to bring that up. You know, it's really great when we get some feedback. I had one of my uh, friends and Facebook friends uh, mention to me that, uh, you know, make a comment that he felt partly in, in part to us and to stuff he's learned, that he's lost 35 pounds, made diet wow. changes, and uh, I may, I'm going to try and maybe text him on the next break because uh -huh. he wanted to know if we were going to talk about him, so... And I appreciate that, Alex Gomez. So we'll we'll try and get to that because I, I want to go over some of the articles okay. he sent. And one of those was, you know, what's going on, you know, with the standard information that we're getting, you know, uh, nutritionalists. Uh, what are the questions you want to ask the nutritionalists? There's a lot of them doing it right, but there's some that have been taught just quite frankly outdated information. 
and we want to help you look at that information so that you know you can move forward and and feel like you're getting good information for your health. I think that's what we're trying to give you here. Yeah. It may not always be the status quo or the ADA or the AMA or the, you know the <laughs> sanctified. Um, A lot of times it's not. Yeah. Uh, you know, no, we're we're coming into an age where an information age is out there for us so that we can use this, we can go to the web, and we can start to really feel what resonates with us and what's going to make us healthy. And that's I what agree. we want you to do. I agree. Mm -hmm. uh, something very interesting uh, I found. Uh, uh, you all were talking about this last night. We had our TFNN kickoff party, and yeah. that was awesome. You know, we just got ex all of us together, had a great dinner, and thank you, thank yeah, you, Tommy. And here and on the screen you'll see this little gadget, and there's a video that on here. And uh, let's see, what is the name of that uh, site? Sorry. It says uh, lumobodytech.com. Yeah, and uh, it's the Lumo, Lumo Lift. Mm -hmm. It helps you actually. You you wear this thing and you clip it on with a little magnet, and you right. can wear it as jewelry or you can hide it under something. And when you slouch, it'll vibrate for you, and it'll make you stand up. Oh, stand I know straighter. someone who needs that in my family. Well, I need it too. When I get in front of that computer, you know, you start hunching over, mm -hmm. and this will actually remind you. Uh, the other thing is, it'll count your steps, like many of these uh, devices that you wear on your wrist do. So uh, and can give you lots of information, syncs up with your iPhone or Android or whatever the kind of phone you have. Right now, it's in the development stages, and what, what you can do, which is kind of cool, you can get it for, I think it's like 69 bucks or something like that. Most of these devices, I don't know where the price is. Yeah, there it is, right there. Pre-order it. It comes in different colors, uh, 69 bucks. Now you have it? I don't have it. I'm going to order it. Okay. I uh, talked to Ellen and I said, uh, you know, you'd yeah. you be interested. I thought I'd order a couple of them and test it out. It's, uh, I don't particularly like wearing things on my wrist. So a lot of these devices, uh, uh, which also help you with your sleep and stuff like that. Well, I want to follow up with you, too. <laughs> you know, we've got a lot of these little gadgets and techie gadget things mm -hmm. that are going on. Uh, there's also a question of what's happening electromagnetically when we're doing all these fun little things that they're selling. I mean, I think some of the information is great, but I'm also going to caution you that we're potentially exposing ourselves to uh, more electromagnetic frequencies and radiation and stuff. Oh, my gosh. Can yeah, I see now, this? Yeah, I could just put a picture up here uh, on the web, and this is a giant squid that washed ashore uh, in California. Mm. And what they're saying, this is so huge, 160 Look at it in relation to the foot, people standing around. Yeah, over 100 foot length. Uh, and they really think that this thing uh, grew uh, excessively because of uh, the radiation from Fukushima. And this is the second creature that has uh, come ashore on uh, the uh, on the California coast. So these things, uh, they think, are growing abnormally because of... Uh, Yes, we need to really be mindful of what's going on in our ocean, in the Pacific Ocean, as it, re yeah, as it relates so, uh, to this disaster. And we really want to encourage you to start doing your own research, get involved in the conversation, guys. Um, you know, I want to explain to you, you've heard me talking about, you know, getting iodine sufficiency to protect our thyroid from the dangerous iodine-131. Yep. But, folks, that's not just it. It's also the cesium-137, which has a extended extended life and is very dangerous and so we're going to be bringing ideas concepts products and, and, uh, you know, things you can do to protect yourself yeah. and your family so this is important. one of the stories uh, you know that is kind of important because there's a lot of false stories I know last week we were talking a little bit about Fukushima and saying you know there, there was still steam coming out mm -hmm. turns out that video is three years old you know, so yeah. there's a lot of misinformation being put out there, too. So we're going to try to keep you up to date on what's going on with Fukushima as we go along. Folks, uh, another break coming up. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. Please uh, take time to pick up my health Secrets newsletter. And the number here is 866 uh, 866 I forget what the time thing is. But I'll give it to you during the next break. With over three decades of trading experience, Andy Hecht brings a tremendous amount of knowledge and expertise to each weekly issue of his newsletter, The Technomental Commodity Report. The Technomental Commodity Report gives you Andy's unique technomental analysis of the commodities market, a combination of technicals and fundamental analysis which he has developed and perfected over his many years of trading. The Technomental Commodity Report is only $49 a month, and right now you can get a full month-long trial subscription while paying absolutely nothing. See for yourself the kind of weekly report Andy delivers to his subscribers every Thursday morning. 
You'll receive specific stock, ETF, and option trades based on Andy's analysis, so no futures account is required. For all the details and to start your month-long free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, visit TFNN.com today. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Backtech Environmental. For more information, just click the Backtech banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hey, welcome back. I'm Paige Clark and Nico DeHaan, and we are talking primal living. I uh, wanted to get back. One of my friends, Alex, on Facebook sent me a nice comment. He said, Paige, thanks in great part to you. I have lost about 35 pounds. I'm now 9% body fat and much, much healthier, and we're so happy that you've made those changes. But he also uh, sent us a nice little article. Um, you know, it, and as a result of him starting to listen to our show, watch our Facebook posts and so forth, you know, he started to make those changes and read. And that's what I really wanted everyone to do. Go get your own information. Listen to us, but go find out for yourself. Um, he said, why did your grandparents not have food allergies and we're seeing this explosive increase? Well, one of the reasons, what's our primary thing? They ate seasonal real food, folks. And yeah, that's not only, I think, not only... Uh food allergies. I think it's the allergies of the environment too. You know, as the seasonal allergies comes in because of pollen and things like that, I think when you're more in tune yeah. uh, to eating the way we are, I have much less impact than when I did five years ago when I started this diet. Well, you know what? Nature includes everything you need to fight allergies. I mean, you know, like we think about seasonal honey. I go to the market, we have some raw honey that's seasonal, uh, you know, spring, summer, winter, fall. And yes. I, you know, how much of it is the intention of eating a seasonal honey? 
could be some of that too, because intention yep. is a big part of health and healing. No doubt about it. But uh, they didn't diet and they didn't play restrictive games with their bodies and metabolism. That's why we like the paleo, the primal, the ancestral. You know, let's not get pigeonholed into a hole yep. here. We're talking about. Uh, they ate food when it was available. Uh, they didn't go into this fad diet. Remember, a lot of these fad diets and all these different named diets are really created for merchandising. That's exactly right. right. That's for but our whether, economy. Whether it be the foods that you eat or the sheer fact that you're getting the information. So why don't you get out there, get the you know the free information, yep. and, and adapt a diet that includes seasonal real food that ate real food. Yeah. <laughs> That's and they the also part. cooked at home. Yeah. They also uh, use traditional preparation methods. Uh, they cooked everything from scratch. So that makes a huge difference. And, you know, when you go to the store and buy something that's already prepared or already chopped up, when I see all this fruit, you know, you're getting fruit and it's already chopped up. For oh, my you. gosh. I mean, to buy the apples and, uh, you know, that are already sliced because you don't want to take the time to slice you them. You lose half I, of the nutrition I know just some by slicing do that. it. Yeah. And, yeah, well, what do you think they've put on those apples to keep them from not oxidizing? Now, ah. naturally, if you slice apples and you're serving them, you can squeeze a lemon because lemon has vitamin C. It's an antioxidant, it will stop the quote, resting yep. until you're ready to eat those apples. But I just, folks, I don't believe that's what they're doing. They're not, no. they're putting other chemicals on them. And, and lemon, lemon really is the lowest glycemic index of any fruit. Mm -hmm. The highest being like raisins and then apples and right. things like that. Right, the so, dried foods. But and, and really what the, the low glycemic, not only that, but it has less of the fructose, which is the part that really bypasses all the signaling. Right. I posted a nice little infographic this week uh -huh. uh, that included the fructose um, chart. It listed fruits, and then it kind of gave you an idea of what fruits are the highest. You know, the melons are very high in fructose. Yes. That's one of the reasons, uh, you know, I, I'm not a real big fan of too much of that, you know. But I kind of try and stay with the low fructose, low glycemic fruits. They, it kind of yeah. goes in, they go together, though. Yes, they do. You know? yeah. um, so it goes without saying, our grandparents weren't eating GMOs. They wouldn't have any idea what that is. I'm sure if... You know, they wouldn't even consider eating. No food eating additives, no colorings. Stabilizers, no thickeners, exactly. preservatives. Yeah. And they ate the whole animal, and that's something that I really love is trying to, you know, get the whole use of the animal with the bone broth. I mean, yeah. I hope all of you, especially those of you, I mean, it's hard for us down here in Florida to think about making stews and broths it is in 80-degree weather. weather. But, yeah. I mean, Last I, you, week, though, I made some uh, bone broth out of that uh, goose, but I also have got, I bought some chicken feet. Mm -hmm. I know, you said that. Yeah, That's so I, I've got that all ready to go, and this is the next cold one is going to be, uh, you know, is going to be chicken feet. But we have a caller, uh, Rose from Chicago, uh, on the line, and she wants to talk about exercise and weight control and that. So let's Hello, go Rose. Hi. How are you doing today? Uh, pretty good. I am getting really disheartened uh, for losing weight, mm -hmm. and actually I was very thin, never had weight problem, but about 15 years ago, uh, I had a hysterectomy, mm -hmm. and ever since uh, I, um, you know, and I've been doing ex exercise regularly, uh, uh, watching the weight and all that, uh -huh. and uh, what, watching the diet. And it uh, last year I lost 10 pounds, uh, and what happened due to some problems uh, last year I quit doing exercise, gained it back, and from a couple of months I have started um, uh, started the um, exercise program. You know, weights and over an hour. And the diet, I don't overeat. Uh, I watch the calories, and the scale doesn't move, and all the clothes are tight, and I'm getting so disheartened. With uh, well, <laughs> let me ask you a couple of questions, Rose. How old a woman are you, and when you had your hysterectomy, did you have a total hysterectomy, including your ovaries, or just the uterus? Yeah, it was a total hysterectomy, and I think the due to the hormones, yeah. I mean, um, everything got messed up, and then... In last few years, the doctor checked my um, thyroids. I've got no problem with it, and uh, but I just cannot lose weight. And mm -hmm. what's happened is, uh, since I was doing exercise forever, you know, and since last seven, eight months when I didn't do it, it looks like I've just ballooned. You know, the size keeps on going up, and now I cannot rely on cutting on diet because if I cut on food. Uh, 
um, I cannot do exercise, you know, well, you, but yeah. I don't overeat. Yeah, most people don't lose weight by cutting foods. They yeah. lose weight by changing the kind of foods. Rose, are you following some of the ideas we have? Have you eliminated or reduced grains and processed sugars? Are you following? See, I, I do not eat uh, too much of sweets anyway, mm -hmm. and uh, the things which I take is, and um, the grains and all that, what I was doing uh, last year, uh, in the evening, I had stopped taking uh, carbs at all. You know, I'll take a little bit of legume, a little bit of yogurt and vegetables and all that at night, you know, for the dinner. But even doing it for so many months, it the scale won't move at all, you know. And mm -hmm. I got so disheartened. Uh, uh, now I am taking, it's a healthy diet. I don't want to cut on carbs and all that because it didn't do... Uh, do me good so I'm taking uh, I make skim milk um, uh, cold coffee or a shake and I take some fruits you know because some of the diets were asking to completely eliminate milk and completely eliminate fruits and that doesn't work out with me because uh, I've become a vegetarian now and if you are a vegetarian it becomes even hard to follow a diet, you know, because before I was eating chicken and all that, and I've stopped eating that, you know. Well, there are a couple well, things you, I heard there. Yeah, one thing, first of all, the only thing that gains weight on people is carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. Protein okay. and fat does not make you fat. Only carbohydrates make you fat. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you made a comment, Rose, about drinking skim milk. Uh, you, and you probably heard us a little earlier. Uh, the, the recipe for fattening up pigs before they go to slaughter is to feed them skim milk and cereal. Doesn't that sound like what Americans are eating? So if you're going to have milk, have it be healthy milk and have it be full fat milk because when you eat fat, you'll stay satiated and you won't be having these extra sugars floating around. Um, you made a comment, too, that I caught on to that uh, when you said your thyroid is fine. I do not believe that thyroid tests that the doctors do give you any information about the thyroid, period. A TSH test is an outdated, ineffective test to determine thyroid. Um, you want to start testing your body temperature first thing in the morning to see what is, give you an idea of what's actually going on with your metabolism. You should have warm hands and warm feet, and you should have a body temperature that's 98, and you shouldn't be 96, 97. Do you have any idea how you feel in that way? No, I have no idea about body temperature. Yeah. yeah. So I should use a thermometer and start. Do, uh, and uh, it should be around 98 then? That's right. And what you want to start doing is get a feel for your metabolism because these, uh, you know, I would be more than happy for all TFNN listeners. I'm a natural health practitioner. Uh, I can go into more detail, and I offer all of you as, a, as, as valuable listeners to our show, you know, a free consultation. Uh, I think that you need some hormone balancing. Naturally, you need some additional assistance because of the hysterectomy. Yeah. And usually uh, we see a tired liver because the liver conjugates our sex hormones. It also conjugates our, um, makes the active form of the uh, thyroid. So you may very well have numbers or your TSH number may not show, but did the doctor look at the active forms of thyroid? I highly suspect thyroid dysregulation in any woman over 40. I didn't, you didn't say how old you were and you don't have to. I but, am over 40. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I highly su suspect that, but many times we can do some uh, body tissue cleansing that will help those organ glands produce the hormones we need to have a healthy metabolism, to have balanced yeah, I, hormones. Every, uh, I, for a few months, every Monday I used to take prune juice for body cleansing and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, once a week I was doing that. And uh, uh, the thing is with exercise, I mean, it, it has come to a point that uh, I cannot cut down. I, I mentioned skim milk, but I'm not a regular drinker. Usually in our house, we get 2% milk, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was I, I started bringing 1% one, uh, 1 also, so maybe uh, I'll just keep on having 2% or uh, homo milk, uh, homogenized. I was 
thinking that it's got too many calories, so maybe... Calories be, really yeah. don't have much to do with weight, and, you mm -hmm. know, uh, exercise really does is not a good way to lose weight. No, also. it won't. No, actually what happens, and I see this a lot with people, is in, with exercise, mm -hmm. uh, you, you know, I really suspect that you have cortisol dysregulation, uh -huh. um, and I do this. I do a... Um, a test that determines what your cortisol levels are based on five element Chinese medicine to see where we have dysregulation with our cortisol, where we see the dysregulation with our cortisol, we'll have a dysfunction in the organ and the gland, we'll give remedies that will help balance that and your hormones will come back into, into um, balance because when your cortisol levels are elevated you cannot lose weight. See, it, it looks like with all the diets and I have doubled up the exercise uh, from last two months, it's it's nothing, and the size keeps on increasing. So it's mostly with the hormones and the cortisone level you, you are got saying, it. You know. See, you, you just you know. said that, Rose. You doubled up the exercise, uh, and what I see is a lot. It's not about like Nico says about exercising more. It's yeah. about exercising smarter. Um, you know, it may be that you're doing the wrong exercise for your body type and your hormone status where you're at now be happy to help you with some tips. One of the things we'll want to talk with you a little bit about, and you keep watching our show, go to Living a Primal Lifestyle. Nico, uh, you can click on that from the website and read some, watch some of the ancestral videos and dietary tips for getting uh, some of these. You know, we would suggest that a, a vegan, a vegetarian diet eventually makes it very difficult uh, to get nutrient-dense uh, yeah. nutrition that you need that you yeah. need by eating some very well uh, processed you know, or well grown or well raised animal food for the nutrition you need yeah. and uh, but we can help you and you know you're in the right place because if you're starting to listen to our show I think you're gonna get some good so, information and and we encourage well, you to give us a call again b b for basal metabolism uh, if it is I have to test uh, try it in the morning if it is uh, not 98 then w what do I do what does it tell me well it's telling me that you've got a suppressed metabolism I, I don't believe necessarily that your thyroid is functioning optimally and uh -huh. uh, we would look to try and see what we can do to help you by raising your metabolism and that often includes warm foods it includes animal foods it includes uh, exercising so that your body doesn't think it's in a stress situation. Yep. You know, um, we well, might suggest that you exercise less, but I certainly would love to pick this up with you personally. Yeah, why don't you uh, go to page uh, at uh, tfnn.com. Uh, page at tfnn.com. Yeah, page at P-A-I-G-E at tfnn.com. Uh, we'll and email her. Email me. We'll make a time to talk, and I'll give okay, you some guidelines. You can you repeat it again? Is it P A? No, page. Mm -hmm. P is in page. Uh, paper. Uh, P A I G E at T F N N dot com, and I would love to chat with okay. you. Okay, that okay. Thanks for listening, that, Rose, and, and we'll we'll Bye. get we'll help you get going. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, one of the uh, things, of course. Uh, if you're on a vegetarian diet, uh, you're not re really getting the nutrition that you need. And, you're not uh, getting the animal vitamins such as B the B yeah, family you have to and the fat soluble to mm -hmm. get the same nutrition mm -hmm. in a sense. So I, I can understand why it's uh, difficult for her. For and sure. I really believe that the body starts to store <clears throat> fat uh, as a way of saying I'm not getting the nutrition. We eat more, we start to store fat because the body says, "Hey, this might be all there is." Yeah, uh, I've yeah. got to see if I can make something out of it. But yeah. that was a good call, and it's, we see this so much. I see this with so many women, um, and, and that's one of the first things they start to do. And I know you see it too, is yeah, to do. increase the exercise. But if your cortisol levels are not optimal, this is going to create a situation where your body. Uh, sees this as a fight or flight situation. Yeah. It's taking flight. It's going to start storing fat, holding on to everything. Yeah. Uh, a good idea, too, Rose, would be to uh, maybe uh, write down what you're eating every day and let Paige know what that is, and that will help her determine uh, a, a path that you can take that will help you. Folks, we're going to be back in a couple minutes uh, with a short break here, and uh, Living a Primal Lifestyle will be right back. We'll see. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. 
Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. Level with Tiger TV. You can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesamento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Wouldn't it be great if you could get a red light, green light indicator that gives you signals on 25 different futures contracts? Now you can with Taz Signal Box. This red light, green light market profile system dynamically updates 24 hours a day and provides you with important trend and trade signals on nine different commodities, nine different indices, and eight different currencies. Right now you can receive a two-week free trial to Taz Signal Box. For all the details and to find out how the Signal Box works, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's trading newsletter. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the Forex market, and more. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two full weeks. That's an $85 value. Yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind. And get the edge you've been looking for. Up next, the Diagnostics Trading Hour with Daryl Martin here on TFNN. Welcome back, everybody. And we were talking about why you have food allergies and your grandparents didn't. That's right. So we, we had a caller come in, but, you know, we want to finish this kind of segment up with, uh, you know, we talked about eating the whole animal, eating the organ meats. If you don't do that, guys, you know, one of the ways I want to talk to you about is including desiccated liver capsules or mm -hmm. into your diet that's a yeah. great way to get liver if you just can't stomach it but if you like liver and onions do it do it once a week yeah get that uh, include chicken feed include the brains uh, include chicken hearts chicken hearts there's so many things that and these most of these things are less expensive yeah 
which is and it, and it's really packed with nutrition. So you really need to look at the organ meats and the bone broths and things like that. You know, the other thing that our grandparents did is they didn't run to the doctor for every an time. office visit and get a prescription every mm -hmm. time they sniffled or no. broke their toenail. No. In fact, they, this, the doctor used to come to them when they had the right. medicine man would come to them. That's and if lost. you if you yeah. grew up in an Asian culture, um, your doctor didn't get paid unless you got well. That's not what we do here. So, you know, save your doctor's visits. our visits. economy, I think. Yeah, save your, <laughs> save your doctor or sick care visits for injury, serious yes. injury or serious illness, but learn to, because guys, more than ever now, and I say this over and over again, the new care is self-care, and we're, 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 we're trying to spread the word. Learn how to take care of yourself. We were so designed. Yeah. You we know, were designed uh, to another thing that's mentioned here is they spend a lot of time outside, and when they were debunking the paleo diet, they said, oh, it's very low in vitamin D. Well, well, of course, food is low in vitamin D. You get vitamin D from the sun. Yeah, exactly. You go Going outside. Back to the so thing. no diet's going to give you that. I mean, we do recommend because of this deficiency and stuff that you may sometimes need to supplement. But I would tell everyone, if you are out in the sun, grounding to the earth, yeah. getting some good, healthy, natural solar radiation that helps your skin make the proper, the best form of vitamin D. That's, that's the best thing. It is the best And way. that's what our ancestors and our grandparents did. Yeah, they spent a lot of time outside. So, you know, I really want you guys to uh, to take heart that what we're trying to say is let's get back to basics. Our grandparents were doing the basics. Yep. I agree. And speaking about basics, my Health Signals newsletter, that's a basic thing that you need to pick up because you're going to get so much information. And it's Not more only, than a newsletter, folks. It's yep. like a digital library connection to cutting-edge information that he and I spend all week we have this little device. We send things back and forth, and we pick the articles that we really want you all to know. Uh, we love it. We put the links in so that you can enjoy the multimedia presentations, the videos. And yeah. we're going to try and use our last segment, um, you know, because we're about being whole being health here, you know, and that's the primal thing is what you eat, what you think, how yeah. you sleep, what you drink, how you move. And uh, we want to really start to expand the idea of uh, kind of going down the rabbit hole and looking at some of the esoteric things that are going on. So we hope you'll join us yeah. when we go down the rabbit hole. Um, and there's one thing that you sent me here from uh, Michael I Tellinger. want us to put it in the newsletter. So those of yep. you that subscribe are going to see it. You're going to see this fascinating presentation. Um, this was... Um, what is it called? It's called How Sound is Keeping Humanity Enslaved. Now, Mike Intellinger is a real interesting guy because he's done lots of investigations. Scroll down for a little bit. Of, yeah, okay. exactly. He has. Uh, and to doing with what the uh, ancient people did. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, really ancient. But he's also talking about this knee idea that's kind of like the Zeitgeist movement. Uh, mm -hmm. And he has this party that he's uh, uh, affiliated with. And they're talking really about uh, changing the whole dynamic of uh, the earth by uh, eliminating money mm -hmm. and going back to what our ancestors used to do was not even trading, but giving stuff away. Uh, you know, it's not going to be too good for uh, our American economy. But uh, the economy changes. Uh, we had democracy, and the republic hasn't been around that long, and eventually be gone. And I think a better society is a more society where people do what they want to do. They're passionate about what they want, and they give stuff to others. And that's what we do. Community living is all about sharing food, sharing ideas. The best songs, the best artists, all the best things in the world have always come from people who gave it away. Exactly. And when you watch more. this uh, presentation that was done at the Global Energy Breakthrough Conference. Michael Tellinger, it's about an hour and a half. Get the newsletter, folks, next week. It'll be week. in next week. We'll yeah. have the video, you know, and watch the video all the way to the end, and you'll really put some pieces of the puzzle yeah. together. Hey, thanks for sticking around, folks. We'll see you next week. Have a great one. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Masters Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery in pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy. A set of tools that identify the momentum and power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start.
start. And experienced traders take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion.